Hey everyone. Hope everyone's having a good start to their week. Um, today I wanted to do a, a video showing you a, um, a, a bold retro look that you can do, you know you can do for either you know any kind of like you know big party or or a celebration or you know anything you guys anything you're going for. And uh, today I'm going to be using. Um, mostly uh, makeup designer brushes, uh, uh, products. Shoot, I forgot to take the... Um, yeah, oh no, wait, yeah. So, so let's get started. First of all, I'm gonna go in with this um, bright turquoise eyeshadow color. This is Makeup Designery's Deco which you guys have seen me, you know, review before, which is a really nice turquoise color. And this is gonna go in the crease. If you feel like you've gotten any kind of, you know, fallout anywhere, you know, you can always go in with a Q-tip and fix it right away. That's always, always the best way to Go. Oh yeah. Do windshield wiper motions and just go back and forth like this. And then a little bit of rearranging with that later. Alright. Next. I'm gonna go in with um, the bright. Oh, not bright. Sorry. Uh, um, <laughs> let's put this brush away. Next, I'm gonna go in with a a white color. If I can open it, and which is the color bone. I wanted to make sure I had knew like you know like the right names so that way I knew what I was doing. <laughs> I mean, easy to get lost at any time. <sighs> Alright, so bone is gonna go on the lid, staying under the crease. Just pat it, put it on the lid, doing a nice patting motion. Try not to swipe it, because you know you don't want it to you know ruin your other colors. A little bit more. And let's wipe down this brush and then set that there. that there for later. Oh, I forgot to take out the mascara. There we go. That's what I was forgetting. Can never com no, I can never complete any eye makeup look without mascara. <laughs> I mean, no one can ever do that. <laughs> so, anyway, no rambling on that. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna go in with the makeup designer's black uh, cake eyeliner in black. That's what I was trying to say. Excuse me for all the stuttering and whatnot. <laughs> Just give it a good spray or two. And then I'm gonna go in with the makeup designer number 900. These brushes are really hard to clean. If you guys have any ideas of how I can, you know, clean such stubborn brushes like that. Can you please let me know? Cause it drives me nuts when I, <laughs> when I can't, you know, spick and span and whatnot. <laughs> anyway, so. Line your upper lash line doing short strokes. 
like that. Do the same thing on the other side. Always work with that bad boy later. <clears throat> and then, and you know, I mean, if you wanted to, you know, do false lashes, you could. But me personally, I'm not a big, you know, false lash fanatic. <laughs> so I just, you know, skip that part. So let's wipe this bad boy down. And lastly, lastly for the eyes, I'm going to apply some mascara. And you guys have seen me use this MAC mascara all the time. Put a, put a good couple coats in. So we're done with that, and then put these away as well, and close this up. That side, while we take out Now, for the cheeks, okay. <clears throat> I'm going to go in with <clears throat> the Makeup Designery Cheek Color in Bubble Gum, and then go in with an angled contour brush, smile, apply it to the apples of the cheeks. Wrong bag. All right, and then for highlighter, I'm gonna go in with the Buxom um, Divine Goddess uh, Luminizer. It was kind of fading off, but unfortunately got discontinued. In the color Venus. I'm gonna have to wipe that down some. And then, and then I'm gonna go in with the um, the Sephora buffer, but uh, buffer foundation brush. Stipple that in to kind of get the excess off, and then apply it to the tops of the cheekbones and up around the temple, just blending it out. And then same thing with the other side. Alright. And then 
you want, put it a little bit down the neck or decollete. Surprised many people don't know what that is. I feel like it's down right here. Good thing I wore wore the right shirt. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, it can become a problem if you do. Lastly, we're almost done. Well, all we have left to do is the lips. And for that, we're gonna do a bold pink color. So be prepared for the color. <laughs> so the color I'm gonna be using is, first I'm gonna use um, Makeup Designer's Lip Pencil in the color Peony, or Peony, however you say that. I think they're so hard to pronounce. So, excuse me. First, going to line the lips. Start with the Cupid's bow. And then work your way outwards. And then do the same thing for the bottom. And then take the side of the lip pencil and fill it in. That makes it last a long, last a long time. Blend your upper lip with it if you want. And then, next I'm gonna go in with Makeup Designery's lipstick in the color Flirt. I also have the um, MAC Amplified uh, Finish oh, um, Lipstick in the color, um, sorry, in the color Show Orchid, but unfortunately that also got discontinued and that, you can also use that too, depending on the look you're going for. So I'll just line that on top. And lastly, I'm going to go in with the NARS lips, lip gloss in the color Easy Lover, which I've worn this like numerous times, even with the one I, the lipstick I was just telling you about earlier. And that completes the look. So, hope you all had fun watching that. And and um, for the uh, eyeshadow color in uh, Deco by Makeup Designery, I'll link to um, both the um, the main website mudshop.com as well as um, the one that Am that's on Amazon. So that way you guys have something to follow if you want to, you know, switch it up 
you know, for any kind of, you know, evening retro look you're, you know, you're going for. And, uh, if there's anything else you guys want to, um, that you guys want to see, um, let me know down below in the comments so that way I can kind of, you know, plan myself in advance, so. Hope you guys had fun watching that, and I'll, uh, talk to y'all soon. Bye!